Hello, my name is Tim Martin and welcome to Net101. As we open up more and more social media uh, properties as organizations, we need to give consideration to the branding elements of those properties and make sure that the visual elements within our control are looking at their very best. So what I'd like to do now is run you through the major social media platforms and uh, step through um, the elements of control within each. So we'll start with Facebook. Uh, Facebook, two major components. Um, on your business page, you'll see the cover shot. That's the big uh, hero shot at the top of the page. And at the bottom left of that cover shot is the brand or the logo. Now the cover shot can be changed as many times as you want. And to keep it visually interesting for people, you might want to change it. Um, you don't have to change it daily or weekly. But you know, if you've got some big announcement, an event coming up, or you've won an award, um, or maybe you just want to celebrate a national holiday, or, um, or change the, uh, the, the, the cover shot depending on what time of year it is, seasons and so forth. But uh, yeah, don't think you just have to upload it once and it needs to sit like that forever. The next platform is Twitter. Uh, three major elements that you can um, uh, have some control over there. Firstly is the wallpaper. That's the big background image um, on your uh, page. So we've got the activity feed in the middle, but the wallpaper uh, typically spreads on to the left and the right. Now on the left hand side, sometimes you can put supporting information about uh, who's gonna be tweeting, opening hours, or even um, URLs to other social media properties. We always put it on the left hand side because Twitter will always move an image across to the left and sometimes uh, if you put it on the right, it'll get hidden under the activity wall. Um, the next element of Twitter is the cover shot at the top of your activity wall. Okay, so you've got some control over that and within the cover shot is the brand uh, or the logo or if it's a personal account, your, um, your avatar or face. YouTube, uh, they've changed their platform recently. They, they used to have uh, wallpaper and they still do, but it doesn't render over the entire background of the page. It's more like a cover shot these days, but they ask you to upload a very high res image so that it renders well on television size screens. Uh, that's one to look out for, I'm not too sure uh, where they're going with that. The, uh, the next one is your LinkedIn company page. Now, up until recently, there wasn't a lot you could do with that, but now, very similar to uh, uh, Facebook, they've got a cover shot that you can put in there. Um, you've still got your logo, but the cover shot actually is at the head of your company page, so you can make that look quite smart. And obviously now with company pages, you can start publishing uh, through those, those pages. And lastly, one that might not be on your radar, but probably should, is Google+. Uh, quite easy to get a Google Plus brand page up and running. And the reason that that is important is that uh, Google is starting to serve brand um, uh, assets around searches for particular companies or brands. Uh, you might have seen the Google Plus local listing starting to show up if someone were to run a, a keyword search on your name. Uh, but the brand pages, the Google Plus brand pages are starting to be served too. And it's, a, it's a chance to really sort of, um, I guess, claim the real estate on page one results. And Google, of course, is a force to be reckoned with. Obviously, they, they dominate search. So some considerations there. Um, things do degrade over time. Go back, look through fresh eyes, say to yourself, is this something uh, I could improve upon? And uh, be looking your very best online.